Hey guys, I'm Craig Moore and today I'm going to show you the three knots that every horseman should know. Okay, we're going to start with the sheet bend. So the sheet bend is the proper knot we use to tie on a rope halter. So if you look closely at that, the way this is tied is the knot has to be on the loop. Where some people go wrong is they'll tie their knot up here like this. So the sheet bend, the way it works is you go through the loop and then you go around the loop and under the part that went through the loop. So that's the sheet bend. The other spot we use it is on our rope halters, we don't like to use clips. So we push the tail of our lead rope through the loop and it's the same process, but upside down. So we go through there and we go around the loop and then back under the initial part. Now, if you have a knot on the end of your lead rope, you can leave it pretty short like that. If you don't have a knot, you can pull a little extra tail through, but that holds really good like that. That is the sheet bend. The next knot is what we used to tie horses up. This is the bank robber's knot. So the reason we use this knot is because if I want to go somewhere, I grab the tail of my rope and I just walk off and my horse comes with me. What most people do is they go around the pole and then they tie their knot like this. And these are our new interns will do this. And I will go to get a horse and I'll grab this rope and I'll go to walk off and I'll just pull that horse up to that pole. And I'm like, oh, we're stuck. So the bank robber's knot is a lot more convenient and quick. And when a horse sets back, I've always been able to get it loose. So I take the rope from the horse and I make a loop in it. I push the loop behind the back of my pole. I grab the tail end of my rope and I go around the loop and I re-grab the loop there. And then I take the tail end and I go around the strand that goes back to my horse and then I make a new loop and this loop goes into my first loop like that. And then I can daisy chain this and I can pull this tight. Now if you pull this as tight as you want, ugh, I've always been able to grab this side and push it or push this side. There's always a way to get that loose. I'm going to tie it one more time for you a little quicker. Take this around, around that one, around that one, back through. Bam. That's the bank robber's knot. Very handy and convenient. Now, the last knot I'm going to show you is the bowline. And the bowline, I like it if my lead rope's too short or too stiff to do the bank robber's knot. If you have a short, stiff lead rope, you go around the pole. And this is a knot that's handy for so many things. You make a loop in the side that goes back to the horse like that. Now it's important in this setup that the way I've done it is the strand that goes back to the horse is on top and the strand that goes behind is on the bottom. That's important because if you do it the wrong way, it'll just make a twist and not a knot. Then I take the tail of my rope. I go through the hole and then I go around the strand that goes back to my horse. So I'll pull all that out. I go around this strand and then back through the hole the same way it came in, just like that. And now this loop is not gonna get any smaller. That's another thing I like about this knot. Works very good. And if this pulls tight, you can always push that loop down. So I'm gonna tie it one more time. And this, like I said, this works better if you've got a shorter lead rope, a long lead rope, this is a pain in the butt. So I put it around loop there take the tail of my rope through and then i'll go around the part that goes to the horse and back through now if i pull that tight there it's gonna have a loop that big and that's why i pull all that slack out of it when i was going around the part that goes to the horse i pulled all this slack out and then i went back out the hole because it will leave you a big loop, which is nice. Sometimes you want a big loop. It's a, this is a knot people use if they're gonna tie a big loop around the horse's neck and then maybe use it to pick up the hind foot or something. So practice those three knots, your goal, do it every day five times. So sit down and do each knot five times and then do that every day for a week and then you'll pretty well know them. And otherwise, if you only do them a couple times, you'll forget. So do them every day for a week and let me know if you remember them. So come back next time if you want a little more horsemanship.